Have you ever noticed how some people seem to attract narcissists like magnets? They have this weird habit that irresistibly draws in these self-absorbed characters. In this video, we'll dive into the intriguing world of strange mannerisms that seem to pique the interest of narcissists. 1. Constantly turning down compliments. Sometimes people have this habit of constantly rejecting compliments. For instance, when someone says, wow, you did a great job, and they respond with things like, oh, it was nothing special, or anyone could have done it. At first, you might think they're humble, not wanting to come across as boastful or full of themselves. But actually, it's often linked to low self-esteem. These people don't believe in their abilities or worth, so they downplay their achievements. Narcissists are strangely attracted to those with low self-esteem because when you're not too confident in yourself, you tend to avoid the limelight. And that's where narcissists thrive. They love being in the spotlight and feel influential around people who downplay their awesomeness. So, it's a bit of a weird combo. The constant complimenter rejectors unknowingly attract narcissists because of their self-doubt. And the narcissists happily take advantage of that dynamic. 2. Being overly generous. Being overly generous is one of those quirky habits some people have, which makes them quite attractive to narcissists. It means you're super caring and concerned about others, their needs, wants, and opinions, to the point where you sometimes forget about yourself. Narcissists will take advantage of your selflessness and use it to their advantage without considering how it's affecting you. They won't care if you're exhausting yourself just to please them. It's all about what you can do for them, and that's it. 3. Being too welcoming. Being friendly and welcoming is good, but it can sometimes attract narcissists like magnets. Now picture this. You've told them several times where your limits are, like, hey, don't do that. It makes me uncomfortable. But here's the catch. Occasionally, you let them cross those limits despite setting them. It's like saying, my boundaries are firm, but just this once, it's okay. Well, guess what? Narcissists spot this weakness and jump on the opportunity to exploit it. 4. Being too innocent and bashful. Being too innocent and bashful is something that some people have as a weird habit. It might seem cute or charming to some, but unfortunately it can attract narcissists. Shyness can make you vulnerable to these narcissists who are always looking for easy targets to exploit. So knowing their tactics and learning how to spot them is essential. Show them you're smart and won't tolerate being taken advantage of. Confidence and self-assurance can go a long way in keeping those narcissists at bay. 5. Susceptible to oversharing or expressing emotions. Some people have this weird habit of oversharing or being open about their emotions. This trait is irresistible to narcissists. Being honest about your feelings isn't necessarily bad. Still, narcissists see it as a sign of innocence and vulnerability, which attracts them. When you wear your heart on your sleeve and let your emotions show, you're showing narcissists what makes you tick, what can hurt you, and what can make you happy. And guess what? They just love that. They use this knowledge to their advantage and determine how to manipulate their emotions to suit their needs. 6. Constantly feeling guilty. Narcissists are attracted to super kind people who have difficulty saying no. These sweet people feel guilty whenever they let someone down, and it's like music to a narcissist's ears. These narcissists love it when someone can't refuse their requests or demands. They take advantage of these kind-hearted souls and use sneaky tricks like guilt-tripping and emotional manipulation to get what they want. They're trying to soften them up for their benefit. Constant feelings of guilt can weigh heavily on your emotional well-being and impact your daily life. Whether these feelings are rooted in real actions or irrational thoughts, addressing them is crucial for your mental health. 7. Self-loathing Sometimes people have this weird habit of not liking themselves. They feel deep down that they're not good enough or regret things they've done in the past. Well, narcissists find this self-loathing irresistible. It's like a big old target for them. They can sniff it out quickly. When you're not too happy with yourself, it makes you vulnerable to their tricks. They can easily bend you to their will because you become like soft clay in their hands. And here's the sneaky part. These narcissists are good at boosting your self-esteem at first. They make you feel good about yourself and you start to depend on them for that little self-confidence boost. But don't be fooled. Later on, you'll realize they make you feel bad more often than they make you feel good. They play a twisted game, 
and you become dependent on them. 8. Being easily intimidated. Narcissists love it when they can intimidate others. They might use their position to make you feel small, give you the silent treatment to mess with your head, or dish out harsh criticism just to put you down. They may even cut you off emotionally or socially. If you're the type who gets quickly silenced and scared by these displays of dominance, you become an easy target for narcissists. They'll use these tactics to control you and make you do whatever they want. When feeling intimidated, acknowledge your emotions, take a deep breath, and assess the situation objectively. Gather more information to understand the source of intimidation. Practice assertive communication if comfortable, and seek support from friends or mentors. Cultivate self-confidence, and equip yourself with knowledge to face challenges head-on. 9. Over-apologizing and too forgiving. Some people have these weird habits of over-apologizing and being too forgiving that narcissists find appealing. Imagine someone accidentally bumps into you on the street, and you're the one saying sorry. Or if someone shows up late, you need to apologize for it. Now, don't get me wrong. Being polite and forgiving is usually a good thing. But when it goes overboard, and you start apologizing for stuff that's not your fault, and forgiving people too quickly just because they said sorry, it becomes a problem. 10. Being too panicky. Sometimes we all get anxious or panicked about different stuff, right? It's normal to panic occasionally, but some people take it to the extreme. They start freaking out about every tiny mistake they make, blowing things way out of proportion. It's become a habit for them. They do it all the time. And here's the kicker. Narcissists love it when they find someone like that. Why? Because people who are too hard on themselves and constantly panicking are usually profoundly insecure. And guess what? Narcissists prey on those insecurities like sharks in a feeding frenzy. Embracing our individuality and authenticity remains a powerful aspect of our lives. Still, it's essential to recognize how some traits can attract unwanted attention. By acknowledging the impact of oversharing and excessive empathy, we gain the tools to protect ourselves from potential manipulative influences. It's crucial to remember that setting healthy boundaries is not about suppressing our true selves, but preserving our emotional well-being and nurturing meaningful connections with others. As we move forward, let's remain mindful of the signals we send and the behaviors we exhibit, ensuring that they align with our values and self-respect. Building resilience against narcissistic attraction empowers us to embrace healthy relationships that enrich our lives and cultivate genuine connections with those who appreciate us for who we truly are. Let's continue to celebrate our quirks while staying attuned to the nuances of our interactions, fostering a life of authenticity, fulfillment, and genuine connections. Remember, being true to ourselves doesn't mean being vulnerable to manipulation. It means nurturing the beautiful individuality that makes us who we are. Consider watching this amazing video right here. If you find value in this video, like this video and subscribe to our channel.